Welcome to the Caregiven Podcast. I'm Inga. And I'm Julie. And long story short, we have Caregiven. We are two mom entrepreneurs who have built an in home care business from the ground up, guided every step of the way by God's care and fueled by agape love. Almost 14 years later, we felt called to create this podcast as a resource for families with caregiving needs. Whether you care for a family member or are looking for advice on professional caregiving, we want this to be a platform to support you. Each week, we will come to you with encouraging stories of families who have found the right balance for their loved ones, tips for how to care for them and you, and much more. We hope you continue to join us each week as we share in this exciting new journey together. Hello, Sunshines, and hello, Julie. How are you? I'm good. Are you rearranging your thinking No, I had a scratch. Oh, had an itch you had to scratch. Yes, I'm better now. I'm <laughs> great, Inga. How are you? Fantastic. <laughs> not itchy or scratchy. Well, it, I'm not until something like this comes on and you say go live. I'm like, oh gosh, that's wait. <laughs> Every it's, time. It's a thing. It is a thing. It's weird. So, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> Fabulous country tall. <laughs> I don't know. Too soon to tell. Yeah. Alrighty, so today we are going to be talking about... My favorite thing. Yes, Julie's favorite thing. Yes. Gifts. Presents. <laughs> Yay. Yay. What was the best present you ever received? Oh my gosh. You know, I look back on some of the stuff that my parents did for me mm-hmm. way back when I was a brat and didn't appreciate anything, and I just think, oh my gosh, the effort and the thought of putting into that and getting that for me is so cool. I mean, I remember one time mom got me this red Western um, jacket. Mm -hmm. And then another time we got saddles with our name on the back of them. And we were just little, you know, kids and we had them on our ponies because they were that that size. But just the effort and and the money and the er time to get those kinds of things. I I still have mine out in the barn, yeah, and because I can never get rid of it because it says Julie, but I am <laughs> a spoiled brat. I've gotten some really cool stuff through the years, mm-hmm. and um, just you know, you got to learn how <laughs> to be grateful for everything. And and some of them, um, <clears throat> actually, on Facebook just last week, I put a picture of a doll my mom had painted me, a ceramic doll. Oh, wow! And it, I figured out it was forty five years old. Oh wow! Yeah, and and um, one day she had said what's your favorite colors? And I was like, well, purple and yellow. <laughs> and she came back and it was this doll about this big. I'll have to put it on the show notes. It's so cute. <laughs> and um, w- mom saw it a couple of years ago. Just, you still have that? Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, always. Forever. Yeah. Oh. Sweetest thing. Mm-hmm. Well, mine, um, a horse, mm-hmm. Tony, my horse, mm-hmm. that was a pretty special deal. Mm-hmm. Um, and then actually Alice was a doll. Again, I always wanted a Cabbage Patch doll. And my grandma had a friend actually make me my own. Oh. Um, her name is Alice. She is living at my gram- my grandma's house right now because oh. as the grandkids and great grandkids come through. Um, but that was a pretty darn special. Yeah. And then, um, anything that Alyssa ever gives because she is the most thoughtful <laughs> gift giver uh, and she got me the, um, Hey dudes with the leather, oh, the yeah. custom leather Hey dudes with a white feather. Oh yeah. It. Yeah. R- remember that time we were having a Christmas party and I cried when I opened her present? <laughs> yes, I do remember totally that Totally got me. It was <laughs> so beautiful. Just such a thoughtful gift. It was a, a beautiful necklace and very dainty, which always worries <laughs> me, but she thought it was dainty. Um, but it, it, it has this, it, it then has mom and dad's brand mm-hmm. on it. And it just, oh, just yeah. really, really touched me. And isn't it amazing how um, gifts like, just the gesture of a gift can mean so much. I love giving. Mm-hmm. I can't even stand it. The worst thing is when you order something, it has to get to you. And then like if it's for the kiddos, I then have to get it ready, put it in the mail, and then wait for two days or three days for them to get it. <laughs> yeah. Did you check your mail? Did you check your mail? Did you check your mail? <laughs> Did you get it? Do you love it? Because I love it. <laughs> yes. I, I'm bad about like Christmas things. <laughs> I would always try to buy Christmas gifts, like start purchasing early (laughs) and it doesn't work because I just keep getting more and more and more. And then somewhere along the way, you have to give away something that you gave because you just can't hang on to it. But you know what my favorite thing to do at Christmas time? I started doing this a couple, I don't know, several years ago, um, going and paying off layaway. Oh, nice. Like, so if there are kids presents or things like that, that, Mm -hmm. you know, 
I want to be able to help in the community and that's just something that I enjoy doing. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm. That's really nice. Yeah. Love it. Yep. Love that. All right. So verse of the week, we actually have James chapter one, verse 17. Every good and perfect gift is from above coming down from the father of the heavenly lights who does not change like shifting shadows. I pick that because everything I'm talking about today is materialistic mm -hmm. and we cannot forget <laughs> that truly the best gift we have is from God. Yes. And um, even what do they say? Every morning when you wake up, you were given a present. Yes. You're in the present. Yep. So appreciate it. Have gratitude for just being able to take that first breath in the morning and um, all of the rest of it is gravy. Yes, that's <laughs> perfect. You are so correct. Well, if listeners, if you have a verse that you would like to share with us, please do that. You can email to the caregiven podcast at gmail.com. And Julie, what did you bring for an uplifting story? Oh, this is so cute um, because as I knew we were going to be talking about gifts and gifting ideas, um, I just happened to run across this where um, Mary Mayon finally saw an old wrong righted when soldiers replaced the cake she should have enjoyed on her 13th birthday. Um, a birthday cake is always makes for a sweet treat, even when it's a bit belated. But Mary Mayon had to wait a lot longer than most kids to get her 13th birthday cake, 77 years to be exact. Wow. So um, way back um, when she was a little gal um, the in Italy, mm -hmm. she um, was, they had made her a meringue and fruit fested cake. But when she went to get her cake, the soldiers, because it was during the World War II, mm -hmm. had come. And they helped themselves to the cake. Oh, no. So she walked downstairs, and her cake was gone because these oh. army guys had <laughs> eaten it. And she was 13 at the time because she had been hiding, literally, in her family's attic. And so um, she, when she woke up after that frightening night, she expected a celebration. Um, and, but her happiness turned into disappointment later when... Um, they had made off with a birthday cake. Oh. So anyway, somehow somebody somewhere found out about that story. And 77 years later, when she was turning 90, she got a cake from the U.S. Army. Oh, my gosh. That they gave her. Um, Tomorrow we will eat that dessert with all my family, remembering that this, this wonderful day that I will never forget. Oh, so she got that wow. really awesome cake 77 years later from the Army. That's just bananas. Isn't that funny? Yeah, that's yeah. that's pretty amazing. Yeah. Well, my story is about Enzo Romero, and he is from Peru. He was born with one hand, but it did not hold him back in life at all. Mm -hmm. What he did is he developed his own hand, which was made completely out of recycled PET plastic bottles. So he was born in Cusco. Uh, they say that is a small city of just over 400,000 people in Peru. <laughs> that is not small in my mind. Oh, but wow. <laughs> anyway, it's all relative, I guess. So growing up, basically, people were used to seeing him excel in life with one hand. He would play basketball, ride his bike, play guitar. They were just a few of his um, pastimes. And despite not feeling at a disadvantage with one hand, he was inspired to create a new hand after watching Star Wars um, in the Empire Strikes Back movie where Luke Skywalker receives a prosthetic hand that looks and feels just like a real one. Oh, wow. So en um, Enzo actually went to the capital, Lima, to, stu to study um, mechatronics so that he could learn to make mechanical limbs. And when he was in Lima, he felt for the first time what it was like to be stared at for having a missing limb. So he would hide it in his hoodie and he would avoid um, basically anybody being able to see this because he didn't want the pity stares. Oh, wow. So while he was at the university, he developed his own way of making a limb for himself. He created a 3D printing filament from old plastic bottles, which he used to create his own blue bionic hand. After graduating from the university, he created his own company, LAT Bi Bionics, um, and he sells robotic limbs. So far, he makes two kinds of bionic hands. One is more mechanical. Um, that model is like $800 for a US or US money. Um, the other uses EMG sensors, which controls the hand through tiny muscle movements oh. that the wearer makes, and those sell for $2,400. Uh, there are currently 3 million people worldwide um, who are arm or hand amputees, and 2.4 million of those live in developing countries. So the thing about it is the average cost 
cost of a, like a bionic hand like that is forty thousand mm. dollars. It can take months to make them, but the turnaround for one of Enzo's is like a week. Oh my so goodness! So far, he has fitted twenty amputees with bionic hands, with many of them losing their hands in workplace accidents. And despite being much cheaper, the cost is still expensive in the country. Um, his country, where the average monthly wage is $435. So to allow for this, um, Enzo's clients are able to pay back the cost of the hands in installments, which makes it more accessible. Um, and he has been accepted as a TED fellow and hopes in the future to expand to neighboring countries, including Bolivia and Ecuador, where many amputees who cannot afford prosthetic limbs would benefit from this affordable option. Basically, the reason that this really struck me in this is talking about gifts and mm -hmm. Um, who can afford forty thousand dollars? Not not many people can, but he has an option, an eight hundred dollar option, and I think that that's more realistic for a lot of people. Oh wow! Yeah, He's pretty cool. And being able to take those plastic bottles and and reuse them and make something functional, I think, is pretty cool. So good job, Enzo! Wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Huh? Huh? Who knew? I didn't. Yep. So if you have uplifting stories or funny things that you want to share with us, please do that at the caregiving podcast at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. We just love hearing from you. And we're always um, looking through and trying to sift through stories that we feel like are very worthy of being talked about on the podcast. Right. Love it. All right. Gifts. <sighs> the best ones. Yes. Well, so I was thinking, why in the world... Because Christmas isn't soon, anytime soon. <laughs> Why do we talk about gifts? But you know what? There's birthdays. There's Just Fourth because. of July because you like me. What uh, can we give? Um, and to seniors. Right. There mm -hmm. are so many people that they have enough knickknacks. Mm -hmm. They have enough towels or what? It, what is something as they're downsizing, right? Mm -hmm. So what would can you give them? that they're going to appreciate that's not going to take more room right. in their apartment or wherever they live while they're trying to, to, to downsize, but yet be really meaningful mm -hmm. and have them love the thought that you put into it. Right. So there's a list of the best gifts for seniors and a lot of them that you've never thought about. Yeah. So um, we'll start with technology. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a lot of things in technology nowadays that just make life easier. And um, so, you know what, let's gift some of those. Um, there's smart frames, and basically they're like a 10-inch screen, and you can just put um, video calls can come in from there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just use it for whatever. Yeah, I think, um, don't they have, well, actually, my kids gave me, I think it's called like a love box or something, and it, that's a it's a little box that has a heart on it. Mm. And when they send a text message to it, the heart will spin oh, around no. and it's like, it's its own special number. So, um, so basically it's super meaningful because I know that it's coming from one of, one of my daughters. Oh, which, how sweet. <clears throat> yeah. Huh. And then like on those frames, I think that, um, I'm thinking there are a couple different options. Mm -hmm. Like you can preload stuff on them, but you can also, there are frames available that you can, literally like text pictures to and then the, the picture will just come up oh cool so they don't even know that it's coming and then all of a sudden there's just you know like my beautiful mug oh what a present <laughs> how special would that be oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah then um i know we've talked about alexa before and i don't get her at all <laughs> um but um there's a lot of voice assistance through that mm -hmm. with video calling mm -hmm. and there's different um options mm -hmm. that you can prepay and and so somebody that um, isn't going to spend, you know, $50, $100 on the program, you can buy it for them so that it's available to them, whatever way they choose to use the Echo Show is what they call it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hmm. So. Um, so, yeah, Echo Show, Echo Dot, Echo, 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 mm -hmm. and Alexa. Mm -hmm. She does a lot. Yeah, she um, does. Oh, you know what? Another thing this, these like lively, easy to use mobile phones. Mm -hmm. That's a technology thing. And actually my mom has a jitterbug, I do believe, um, because she doesn't have, she's not one that's going to be on her phone doing anything crazy. Mm -hmm. She just wants the ability to be able to call out, have people call in and like no fuss, no muss. Right? right. And she, I think has had a lot of success with the jitterbug. So if people are concerned about it being, um, too, what's the word intricate or something yeah. like smartphones can be a little bit overwhelming. Yeah. 
but the jitterbug is a good option. Yeah, they say that they actually have a larger screen. They have mm-hmm. the big buttons, yep. a loudspeaker, um, and there's also additional health and safety features that you can put in there for each of your yep. family. So you buy it, mm-hmm. and then you have a monthly phone service. But right. quite often, a family can do that for their loved one, and you've given them a present that oh, keeps on giving. Absolutely. It's a safety thing. Yeah. And then the, I think there's also those like medical alert devices, mm-hmm. um, that same type of concept. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the cell phones, the, uh, Oh, the gr- iPads, grand pads. Once again, you're going to have to think about the person and their ability mm-hmm. to use things. Mm-hmm. Um, even myself, I will admit, <laughs> I tend to be a little, less techie than I should be and um but you know what my girls did the other night to me I just figured out snapchat (laughs) and oh boy (laughs) (laughs) kind of figured it out I I I I snap you Mm -hmm. and then the girls Mm -hmm. I think I've once I got a snap from Alyssa but um she probably quit me after the first (laughs) time but they thought it was funny because they took a, a screenshot of a screenshot and then sent it to me and it said tap to view. And they knew even though I was at home and they were 400 miles away, they knew I was just kept tapping at it because it wouldn't open. <laughs> and then I'd go, you guys, I can't open it. And they're like, oh, try it one more time. I did. And this is what happened. Nothing happened. Th- what's wrong with you? Why can't you open that? And I just, I don't know, send it through text or something. Maybe because I was dying to know what it was. And finally, I thought they were pranking me. <laughs> and then I was, uh, well, I'm not going to fall for it, so fine. Uh, forget it. This is dumb, is what I said. <laughs> so the next day, I don't remember which one of them, I was like, so what did you guys send me yesterday? And she goes, Mom, it was just a snapshot of a snapshot. It was, uh, we were <laughs> totally we were messing just, with we're you. Totally messing with you. I was like, oh. <laughs> so anyway, so be aware of, the, as my children are, of how techy the person is or is not. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I bet they just laughed for hours because oh, they, they knew exactly. They, what was evidently, happening. they were talking to each other at the same time. And they were doing this to me because I kept sending them. You guys, I really got why, mom? W- try it again. Send. We've sent it again, and I just was like, "This is dumb. Forget it. <laughs> just tell me what it was." Well, you got to open it to see it. <laughs> oh man! No, oh, yeah. So the grand pad, basically uh, the tablet that's more focused, right? For mm-hmm for the grandparent. But what's interesting is my nephew, William, actually just got a little watch and I don't remember what it's called, but it is, um, it does have the ability to call like only certain people. Oh. So like his parents is probably grandma jeans on there. Mm-hmm. I didn't make the cut, Uh-oh. but um, <laughs> yeah. So I think they, they make a variety mm-hmm. of um, technology things for where people are in their world. So apparently you either need Williams or you need a grandpad. <laughs> Oh, I need Williams. Uh, uh, Celery two-way computerless email system. Oh, I'm getting all kinds of good ideas for myself. Um, And so this low-tech system lets seniors send and receive email without having to own or use a computer. Um, They don't even need internet access. Oh, wow. See, that would be something for Grandma Fisher because Uh she does not have Wi-Fi in her house. And Mm -hmm. she says she will not ever have Wi-Fi in her house. But she does have to go with my mom down to mom's house occasionally to get on the Facebook or to check emails or, you know, to be involved in some of the things that require internet. So that might be something cool. Um, So this is for me because it says the salary device and service automatically prints their incoming emails on paper because you know how I like to touch things. Oh my gosh. And instantly sends their outgoing pen and paper messages to as emails to others. See, there you go. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. That is totally. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. There are different types of computers also that you can um, connect with. What is this one? Telekin computer. Mm -hmm. It's basically simple, easy to use family computer. It combines video chat, photo sharing, email, and other more popular features into a sleek touch screen device. Mm. I get myself into trouble with the touch screen computers, like monitors, because I forget that they're touch screen. And then I'm trying to like, you know, keep my finger on something, numbers or whatever, oh, find my place. And then the next thing you know, gone. I'm off somewhere that 
<laughs> I didn't need to be. So um, I actually think a lot of people had to get way more techie during the pandemic mm -hmm. because, uh, you know, Zoom and, and all of those face-to-face -face things yes. um, became way more of a deal. And uh, <laughs> I, uh, when I went and saw mom and grandma the other day, um, mother brought out the iPad and she goes, look what we can do. And so she brings out the iPad and um, my aunt had downloaded the young and the rest of us oh, or whatever. Young for, and the rest of us. What is it? The young and the, 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 young and the restless, isn't it? The young and the rest of us. Can you tell how Where much? are you the young or are you the rest of us? <laughs> That's great though. Tells you how much I watch soap operas. <laughs> anyway, it was a soap opera. <laughs> So, anyway, mother was showing me. <laughs> I can't. Okay. Okay. So, mother brings out the iPad and she goes, look at what I can do. And she went to poke the button that had the video. <laughs> anyway, it came up. And it worked. And so that's how grandma does her daily soap opera. Oh, nice. Yeah. So she's keeping up on the soaps. Um, but then <laughs> the other one she had is they also have a daily devotional. But my oh, mom yeah. was so funny because she, this is where I get it. She just pokes it hard. <laughs> like, and I don't think you have to. <laughs> it's not so aggressive. Yeah. It's but she was just like, poke, poke, drag. I was like, oh, that's where I get all my mad skills. <laughs> that must be. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, anyway, how was the Young and the Rest of I Us don't episode? Watch. Okay. I don't watch it. Okay, so keepsake <laughs> gifts. I love these. Um, yes. Custom photo, photo albums. Mm -hmm. My sister-in-law does this for my mom mm -hmm. and the grandparents every year. Just takes makes a little scrapbook photo album um, of the kids throughout the year. And they're so much fun. Mm. And it's so much fun to go back and like look at those from years ago. Yeah, I've actually got to do something on that same visit when we were going to uh, watch Mother's Mad Skills with the iPad. Yes. She gave me a box this big of my photo oh. albums and photos of myself and the kids and everybody that she was happy to give to me. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to have to figure out what to do with all of those old photos. Yes. And I think that's a big problem for a lot of people, but I bet you in this Probably. There's a, a solution. Yeah. Yes. Um, another thing is like custom photo calendars. Mm -hmm. Those are fun. Um, did you ever hear about my mom's calendar? I loved it so that much. she made for her friend Craig. Yes. Who was the cowboy. And so it was Jean and the tractors and all of her Carhartt garb. <laughs> it was awesome. She's awesome. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's awesome. Custom photo blankets. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. Put my, my, my mug, oh. my big head. On a blankie, who wouldn't want to snuggle with that? Yep. Snuggle up and watch The Young and the Rest of Us. <laughs> um, custom photo puzzles. Oh. Yeah. You just have to make sure that whatever you're using as the subject of these things <laughs> is going to be appreciated. And appropriate. <laughs> and appropriate, yes. <laughs> Digital photo frames. Um, and these are the cool things where you can put in, like, what, a thousand pictures and it just will roll through. Mm -hmm. That would be highly entertaining. Yes. I, that's what I should do with all those pictures. Yeah, I was thinking that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, entertainment and engaging type things. You can do favorite songs and albums. Um, my mom is super, super musical, so I could always get her, like, um, music, mm -hmm. honestly, piano music and different things like that. Um, portable cassettes or CD music player boom boxes. This is, like, for the old school. Somebody that I ran into recently was talking about their vehicle still having, like, CDs or something. And Do you know what that is? Um, no. Oh. But, oh, wait, a CD? Yes. I'm not sure. Is that where I would hear about Lick's, Rick Springfield? Oh, yeah. No, I do know what a CD is. Oh, weirdo. But basically, uh, if people have, like, old... Yeah, well, what I love is what you got Bailey a handful of years ago yeah. was the, the actual, actual record, record the vinyl records. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? So cool. Yeah. Lots of fun. Yep. Coloring books. Oh, yeah. uh, they have adult coloring books everywhere nowadays mm -hmm. and in different themes and, and different appropriate and inappropriate complexities. I mean, True. Lots of swear words. I know. There's like the stressed out adult one and <laughs> then where you just want to tell everybody off or, or the yeah. beautiful flowering flowers. Yes. Yeah. Puzzles, jigsaw puzzles. Mm -hmm. Lots of our clients like to do puzzles. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
Um, large print or jumbo playing cards. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, and then the deluxe bingo game <laughs> set. I was actually just thinking about for Christmas, my mom gave us like the deluxe edition of Scrabble. So oh. Kevin and I broke it out the other day and tried to tr- attempted to play Scrabble and <laughs> it was painful. <laughs> so <laughs> we put it away. I need to play Scrabble with my mom and grandma and Aunt Janice. <sighs> Are you too competitive or what's your problem? I, I think we're just too, it, it just goes too slow. And so oh. we're always like, there's other stuff we need to be doing. Right. So it's not taking the time to relax and do it. <laughs> that yeah. thing we're not so good about. Yeah. Okay. So um, experiences. Mm-hmm. So that's where the gift card becomes a thought. Do you know what we did for Grandma Fisher several years ago? What's that? Took her on a dog sled ride. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yep. Yeah. I think she mentioned something about skydiving, but I'm not up for that one <laughs> oh. or down for that one. <laughs> oh, wowzer. Oh, there's a lot of people that get up in age that decide that's the one thing that they haven't done and they're going to do it. I can't even imagine. Ew. I can't even stand up against the glass at like the stratosphere. Ew. Or ew, I'm ew. like, it just wigs me out. I don't like glass <laughs> elevators. <laughs> yeah. Uh, gift certificates to a favorite restaurant mm-hmm. are Always awesome and appreciated because who isn't loving to eat? Yes. Um, gift certificates for, for services like hairstyling, manicures, pedicures, um, things like that. My grandma goes to a reflexologist mm-hmm. and loves it. So that's always a great gift for her. Yeah. Um, yeah. Grandma had a new pedicure the other day and made me lick at her toes. Oh, I know. You were probably grossed out. I probably I'm thought so they would have been beautiful. Yeah. They weren't. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't. Okay. Well, anywho. Sorry, Patsy. Okay, so what about gifts to reduce anxiety and promote calm and relaxation? Ooh. Weighted blankets. Uh Uh-huh. Those Those, are cool. They are really cool. Although, me personally, I get a little claustrophobic. I haven't had one, but I've thought of people that might Mm -hmm. actually get some comfort from them. Yeah. And the whole point, what, is just to feel pressure? Yep. Like you're being held or you're just, you're safe. Yeah. Cocoon. Yep. Gotcha. Um, heated blankets like Sunbeam, they, I, this is like a favorite. Every Christmas, somebody's getting a heated blanket from me. <laughs> what do they say <laughs> about gift giving? You always give what you'd like to get back. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I always take to our like secret Santa or dirty Santa, whatever, <laughs> gift exchanges. Because I'm like, if nobody else likes it, I like it a whole lot. So yeah, I wouldn't be sad if I ended up with it. Oh. <laughs> but I, I love that. Especially with our elderly people. Mm-hmm. Just because you seem to get, myself included, um, chilly more frequently. So right. heated blankets like that are really nice. Well, I'll never forget. Dad's favorite gift of late mm-hmm. was that blanket you got him. Yes. Yeah, his favorite child. <laughs> It's, it's hard, but <laughs> somebody's got to do it. <laughs> oh, they even make special wheelchair blankets. Mm-hmm. Um, so even if you're on the run, you can still have that nice. without dragging it. Because I always all... worry about getting stuck in the wheel. Yep. Yeah. Another thing is like a foot massager. Mm-hmm. So funny for funny story, fun fact. Actually, it was, so Callie, didn't Callie start the community at your church? Mm-hmm. The community fair. Yeah, the community fair. So the first year that you guys did that, I went there and um, and I went into the like the tent that had the like garage sale type items, and I couldn't find anything. But there were these just lovely ladies that were running the tent area, and they were just insistent that I find something, <laughs> and I didn't have my money with me. And they're like, "No, no, you find it. We'll hold it here. You go to your car." So I was like, "I, I, I had to buy something." So I actually found a foot massager thing that currently sits at my house and it's very close to where the dining room table is. And it is like every child's favorite thing. So every kid that comes over to the house wants to know if they can plug it in and put their feet on it. It's crazy. And then they'll fight over it. And does it like move? You put your feet on it? Yeah. It's just like little roller balls and they, it heats up and it just moves in a pattern and it's like a foot massage and you don't have to touch anybody's feet. That's better. And the kids love it. That's so anyway, if you get one of those, one of those at your house, lots of people will want to come. I just, it's a thing, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's really great. Yeah. So I'm so glad that the church ladies actually, I would like to say talked me into, but it was more like forced me into. You no, know, you will love <laughs> you to will take something take from this. here. And actually uh. another fun fact, currently with the puppies that we have in the barn, uh-huh. another uh, little dish thingy 
that I got from that fair is being used to feed the puppies. <laughs> oh, cute. Yeah. So I've actually made really good use of the well, things that the I bought. the gift that keeps on giving, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yes. Yep. Okay, so there's always um, always nice to get some new clothing mm-hmm. or footwear gifts. Yep. I think socks is a big thing at our house because mm. I don't know where the socks go. I have a gremlin. I think we all do. Yeah. Yeah, and then my husband's underwear. Just he'll wear them until they're absolutely tattered. But guess what? That's okay because I give it to him for Christmas. Every Christmas. So he just You get wear- no panties. <laughs> That's kind of a thing too. I was going to tell another embarrassing story about my poor Kevin. Um, we had gone to, he'll just die when he, he, well, I don't know if he listens to us. He gets enough of me at home. So anyway, um, Duckworth cl- that wool clothing. So he started getting those Duckworth underwear and they're just super high quality and they are a little bit expensive but it's what he likes and he can like that because he gets to be a king at our house so anyway (laughs) um so we had gone to a show and we stayed in a hotel and for whatever reason I mean it was so uncharacteristic but we both forgot to look behind the door in the bathroom and so he actually ended up leaving behind um like a shirt and sweatpants and a pair of underwear (laughs) So where it gets a little dicey and I don't quite understand is we called back to the hotel and said, oh man, we left these clothes and is there any way that we could come back and get them? And basically they're like, well, we have a shirt and, and sweatpants. No, there's no underwear. Ooh. So who the heck has Kevin's underwear? <laughs> Cause they were there. Oh my gosh. Like what happened to them? Oh. Did somebody just get grossed out and be like, uh, these are, no, no, thank you. Or Were they like, somebody's Whoa. wearing Kevin's underwear. Coolest underwear ever. <laughs> yeah. We'll never know. <laughs> Probably best. Probably. <laughs> anyway, moving on, compression socks. Great gift. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. No, people actually, compression socks are cool. Mm-hmm. And you don't know it until you use them, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but a lot of athletes use them. Um, but for compression stockings for the elderly, it's it's actually a, a functional deal. Yeah. For Don't they have different, like, strengths? Yeah. Some of them are a bugger to put on. Yeah. So um, think about <laughs> what you're doing, why you're doing it, and who you're giving them to. Right. Because some of them are, like, worse than pantyhose. Mm. And you got to, like, literally stand on your head to pull them up. And, yeah. Yeah. They're good for flying, aren't they? Yeah. I thought I've heard people wear mm-hmm. them just, like, Average everyday Joes. Yep. They, yeah. Nope. Slippers. Slippers are wonderful. I love slippers. Mm-hmm. I've become a slipper person. Yep. Yeah. But then again, I have to take off my shoes as soon as I get home because I never know what I'm going to step in because <laughs> of my house with the farm. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. And yes. so kick them off. Oh, and p- take your shoes off because you don't know if you stepped in something out there. Not take them off because you don't know what you're going to step in inside. Yeah. There's okay. definitely a difference. Okay. Got it. Thanks. <laughs> So what about the things that make life easier? Oh, please. Healthier, yeah. more comfortable. LED lights. Yeah. Yep. What about cup, ho- cup holders um, for rollerators or wheelchairs? That's so funny. I have never heard it called a rollerator before, no. other than that's what my grandma and mom call it. Oh, The funny. walker. Yeah. A rollerator. I didn't know that was actually a thing. Oh, that's funny. Is it a brand? I don't know. Anyway, you can get cup holders. Yeah. That's cool. That's a good idea. <clears throat> a lot of people use their seat of the walker Mm -hmm. for like their dinner and stuff. And they don't know where to put their. Oh, that's a great idea. Their drink. Yeah. Mm. Um, what about can openers? Mm -hmm. Like no touch or whatever. Oh yeah. Electric automatic can Uh openers, electric toothbrushes. Yeah. Seat cushions. These are the best. They are. Yeah. Mm. Wake up light sunrise alarm clock, um, helps adults, Older adults wake up more naturally with an alarm clock that simulates the sunrise. Ooh, I like that. Isn't that interesting? This innovative alarm clock is essentially used on dark winter mornings. Wow. That would be really good here where we live, yeah. just because we get so socked in in the wintertime. Yeah, I was just so. talking to somebody yesterday. Their sibling actually had to move, even though he'd lived here his whole life, mm-hmm. that as he got older, more and more the um, the darkness or the grayness affected him and he he moved to utah Mm because there was more sunshine wow yeah it caught up with him Mm. yep shavers yep one for me too (laughs) 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 no (laughs) i think my aunt made her daughter's promise that if she got old and she ever had whiskers they would make sure to pluck them for her oh wowie (laughs) 
<laughs> you need someone that's going to take care of that for you, don't you? You know, it's important. It is. Yeah. Okay, uh, mobility and transportation gifts, uh, the drive medical walker ski guides, um, and that's where the they're actually on a little scoopy thing, and so the leg of the walker doesn't get caught yep. on the carpet so or like on the ski. edge of stuff. It just kind of slides more. Be careful with the person and making sure they can tolerate that because if it starts to slide, are they going to just hang on? Can you just imagine <laughs> slow motion? <laughs> Wasn't there a slow motion uh, wheelchair incident with your dad at some point? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> standard handy bars, portable vehicle support grab bars, mm -hmm. um, anything that you can do to help make getting in and out of a vehicle oh. easier is super good. Yeah. I remember when I used to take Willie um, grocery shopping quite mm -hmm. often and I had a bigger truck. Mm -hmm. We literally had stair steps. Yep. And then it was really great because then we just stick it in the back. But what a great gift. Hey. We did that when we went to Oregon. I got stopped and got a, um, like just a step stool mm -hmm. for grandma to be able to get in and oh, out. It it's just perfect. amazing how just another six inches or something big difference can for sure. help. What about those quad pod um, offset canes? Yeah. Those right. can make, then you can go four wheeling. Yes, because <laughs> they sit there and they stand there. They don't just tipple over and then you have to wonder how you're going to get it. Yep. Mm hmm. Um, Let's see, four-wheel rollerator walkers with that removable back supports on them, or the kind that pull up and the, or that you can sit down and, like you were saying, use it as a tray table. Mm -hmm. Or lots of people will use those just as a seat yep. when they're out and about. If they get tired, they're able to just sit yep. safely. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> when Donna and I took a walk yesterday to go get her mail, mm -hmm. she took that um, walker and um, she's just like, and if I get tired, I just turn around and sit down until I feel like I'm ready to go again. Oh, that's so awesome. thankfully, she was on top of it and knew she couldn't push it. Mm -hmm. yep. And I think the other thing is um, basically that this is mentioning is like ultralight type walkers mm -hmm. or it, just equipment in general. Mm -hmm. If you can try to get it as light as possible, because mm -hmm. I that is a big um problem or challenge for a lot of people not being able to manage the equipment just because of the weight of it oh some of those get heavy mm -hmm. yeah um some of the things that aren't listed in our really cool list of cool gifts mm -hmm. is some homemade stuff yes one of the very best things i ever got as a mother's day card was it was a card and they were homemade little flowers and as you would pick the flower every day for a week there'd be seven of them on the stem it would say today I'll do the dishes for you mom oh and then the other was today I'm going to mow the lawn or today I'm going to pick up my crap <laughs> um, <laughs> so anyway I don't know if it ever got used but it was sure cute that is awesome but that would be one of those things that you might be able to make like a homemade coupon book mm -hmm. you know good for one ride to church right. or which, and I think in a lot of people's cases, that is more meaningful than so any good. fancy technology yeah. or um, gizmo or gadget. Yep. Just time spent. Time is the biggest present you can give. Mm -hmm. For yeah. sure. Awesome. That's awesome. I want to go shopping. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. Did we have a grandma saying? Yeah. Chris's um, grandma used to say, I'm the grandma and they're just like me. And he's, she's talking about her grandbabies. Mm -hmm. My grandbabies are beautiful, perfect, never cry or fuss, sleep on schedule, and burp on demand. They're angels all the time. Nice. Just like me. <laughs> just like me. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, if you have a grandma saying, um, please, please email it to us. You can do that at thecaregivenpodcast at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Go and make sure that you subscribe on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts. Um, you can watch us on YouTube. Leave our leave reviews for us if they're good ones. We like the good ones a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and join the Apoggy Care and Share group yep. and check us out, man. We'd love to hear from you. We would love to hear from you. <laughs> Peace out, Girl Scouts. Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs>